So we're here in Paula's special room where she has most of your ephemeral memorabilia of Mr. and Mrs. Tom Thumb. And I know a teeny weeny bit about Tom Thumb, no pun intended, but Paula is really, you are the expert on the subject. So to, to those people that in 65 countries that may not be familiar with the first global superstars, Mr. and Mrs. Tom Thumb, can you just give them a little introduction of who they were? Well, I think everybody's probably heard of him, but they have no idea that he was real or what he's all about. And he was born in, in Bridgeport, Connecticut in 1838. And Barnum discovered him when he was quite young. And I have all kinds of things that have to do with him. He was on the covers of all these periodicals. It shows him in all the different little outfits that he uh, did when he was performing. He was sent, Barnum took him over to England and he met all the kings and queens of Europe. He was a guest of Queen Victoria's. He had a sword fight with her terrier. She thought it was hysterical. And he, she gave him a little carriage. And a lot of these things can be seen uh, in Bridgeport at the museum. And we're not gonna go in really any order because I don't have them arranged in any order. But um, Paula, he must have been a natural performer because it, it wouldn't be enough just to be small, would it? No, he, Barnum trained him to do all kinds of things. And people just thought it was funny that he, this little person, you know, he must have been very precocious and smart. Um, well, I, we know he was smart because wasn't he very good with his money? on business. Oh yes, later on in life when uh, Barnum lost his fortune, Tom Thumb, uh, you know, got him out of trouble. Okay, this yeah. this looks like a fairly early image of them. Well, he met Lavinia Warren and she was a school teacher and then she was also a performer and when he met her that was about it for him and she wasn't too sure, but finally they did get married. Now, how tall was she? Well, she was, I'm not exactly sure because it depends on what time of life you're talking right. about. And, uh, you know, she was, she was little and she had a sister that was even littler. But this is, this is a drawing of him, the Yankee Dwarf. This came out of a newspaper in England and it was 1846. So that's really early. That's very early. Yeah. So. Well, do you think that she was definitely under 30 inches tall, though, did you say? Probably. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, you can fact check that, but I'm bad at numbers, okay. remembering numbers, I am. But um, th there was a story about Tom Thumb that was really taken from him. There's the history of Tom Thumb with the cat chasing him, but it was, it was just a little fairy tale. It wasn't, and that's what people think he was, as a fairy tale. And then once, really by the 1860s with their marriage, they really became full-fledged international superstars. Well, they were before, but when they got married, that was the, that was like Diana's wedding. That yeah. was just the biggest thing. And it was at uh, the cathedral in Washington, and they had, if you didn't get invited to that wedding, you went out of town, so nobody knew that you weren't invited to that wedding. <laughs> yeah. And then soon we have all of these products, the, the Tom Thumb paper dolls and um, all these interesting things. And then her, her sister, which is this, this Minnie here. Warren, who was, I think, really very pretty. I mean, she really looked like a French fashion doll. She was, they were just perfectly proportions. There wasn't anything midget about them. They were just perfectly proportioned little humans. But Commodore Nutt, who was an alcoholic, was always after Minnie, and she wouldn't have it. But she did marry a, a dwarf. Then no. up above, you didn't see the paper dolls up above. Those were in the early 1860s paper dolls of Mrs. 
And, and I love how you have those displayed. With the little note of the cube. Well, Paul, Paula, over here on your beautifully uh, dressed uh, mantelpiece are some really interesting items. Um, well, maybe we'll start in the center and work this way okay. because we were talking about the wedding and Commodore Nutt was the best man, but he, maybe, he and, looks and very he, unhappy. He was because he loved uh, Mrs. Thumb. He did. He thought he was going to get her, but he didn't. Then he went after the sister. But look how little they are compared to the the minister there. This is a little commemorative plate for the wedding. That's a little mini Warren mini paper dolls. This is a fan with all the images of the wedding. Tiny, tiny. And this is them in costume. I think you made a good career of um, parodying Napoleon Bonaparte. He did, yeah. uh huh. He was in you know, all kinds of different characters. This is a token that uh, if you, it was good for one visit to the Barnum Museum, the American Museum in New York City to go see him. And that, that was one of the first casualties of the Civil War, wasn't it? Yes. It was, it was uh, um, uh, wasn't it? Um, I'm not sure how it burned. I, th I think it was. Um, torched. It was torched. Oh, I'm yeah. not sure. Um, that's, they were pur purported to have a baby. And so in every place they uh, did shows, there was another baby. But, you know, we don't think they really had a baby. This, this is a tiny, tiny uh, drawing, a little litho of the wedding. And then, Paula, you've got a pair of uh, German uh, um, miniature dolls. They're dressed in bright and, and groom's clothing. And you can tell that they're children dolls. They're yeah, not, which, they're, yeah, they're they're not, not the adults. They're just little children. So what is that about? And that's about the Tom Thumb weddings because it was a big thing to raise money to, especially in churches and for different things. And they would have these little children put on a wedding and then you'd get tickets to, to that and they'd put on the wedding. And it, I have a friend whose mother did it in Mississippi in the, in the up until the 40s. It was just a fun thing to yes, do. Uh, yeah, and everybody was just in love with Mr. and Mrs. Tom Thumb. On either side here is sheet music. This one is called, um, let's see, the Grand Wedding March. And it shows them at the wedding. And on the other side, there's the fairy wedding waltz. And that is really very authentic because it doesn't have their his true name on it. Right, than, Charles Stratton. Which is his real name. His real name. And that's an image I've never seen before. No, is I that don't. one of your special ones? It's a special one and it's very early. And look at these costumes. It's Mrs. Thumb and her sister Lavinia Warren. And she looks like a doll. She did look like a doll. And a little book that's a uh, fairy library. This is something too. It's a, a little book that folds up and it says somebody's luggage. And it has a picture of each little event in their lives. The wedding, the supposed baby, Barnum, all kinds of little fold outs. This was Commodore Nutt. And I think, um, Paula, I mean, you've got a huge collection of this, but people can find Tom Thumb things because they because they were um, they were celebrities. And well, there was a lot of they material. sold them, you know, like any kind of souvenir at any time they were showing, and they were so popular that and they were cheap, little tiny pictures. Um, this is a picture of when Tom died in uh, eighteen. 83 soon after she remarried another 
small person named uh, Count Megri. He was Italian. And that's a late picture of her. And she became a countess, didn't she? She was a countess, because he was a count. And then I have this picture in my hand. They, they ended up at Coney Island. And they spent the summer there one year in a place called Dreamland in Coney Island, in really? this little fairy cabin. Oh. And then what people and come... And people come and look at them. And they were so, used to that. And they were used to that. And they also had some kind of concession locally um, that they sold ice cream. I think it was called Primo's something. Um, but there's more over here. Okay. So this is when he was eight years old. This is his autograph. And this was uh, on a voyage to England. And it says... 31 inches tall, 29 pounds. Wow. 29 pounds, you know, that's... But I think he probably stayed about that. Yeah, height. right. From... And then he got kind of rotund in the later years. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's a real treasure to it have. That is a treasure. For, uh, something that early. Um... This photograph, I'm the only one that has this. And this is when they were, it was uh, Lavinia. Here's it's Lavinia. This is her sister, Minnie. And then those are their other two sisters that were normal size. Normal size. Mm -hmm. And they had brothers that were normal size. Um, this is Commodore Nutt and Minnie Warren. Did they try to put them together? They tried to put them together, and she just wouldn't have it. What, what do you think it was his, uh, his drinking problem? Yeah, she just wasn't into him. Mm -hmm. This is a little quilt that I have, and a lot crazy of quilt. that's a crazy quilt, and it has her name in it, Mrs. Tom Thumb. So, do we believe that she made that, or was There's it? There's no way of knowing, but no. it did come from Middleborough, okay. where she lived later. Um, more pictures of, of them, her second husband here, the baby. I think I have every picture that was ever, this is uh, Minnie and, and Nut. Then they had all these little handbills and little brochures that they would Those are fun to put find. out. Yeah. <laughs> There's more of these. Um, Major Newell, he was also a little person. But up here are the Tom Thumb ones. Have you gone off into collecting other uh, small people? Or is it just the thumbs you uh, I always have. I have some pictures. Because they weren't the only ones. They were just the most No, the famous. smallest one was a little tiny senorita, somebody I can't remember. And, and she died in the Sierras, freezing to death on a, on a stagecoach going oh to a show. And she was adorable. That's Minnie Warren and her outfits. So she had more than one paper doll. She did. Yeah, that's... And probably they all did, but um, that's what we have, so... Should we go over to the other side and have a look there? This uh, variety of photographs I've had forever, and I'm the only one that has these. It's another acquisition from Frank Magnamy, and he got it from distant relatives of them. Um, it shows the the sisters and the brothers. Um, so I would imagine these are, are the, the sisters. Two sisters that you've seen before. And yeah. it's it's the same studio setting, but it's just a different different pose. pose. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then down below are her brothers, which are just normal size. And perhaps her father. I'm not sure. Um, there is above that is a tiny little 
photograph of the carriage that was the gift from Queen Victoria. Now, I have never seen that photo before. No, I think this is the only one, so. And then there's another version here, which this looks like a little bit different carriage. And I really should take those out and have them restored. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. But this is what, this was up in the attic uh, in where we're staying. And this I thought was very interesting because that's not the thumbs, but that is Princess Alexandra. And if you think about it, this is personal things. That must have been a, a photo from the princess to the, to the thumbs. Yeah. I mean, look at that. You can see it in yeah, her. I know. And she's wearing a great soutache dress. Just a fabulous look from the time. And then here's... Mrs. Thumb, when she's older. And it looks like she's wearing a little Worth gown. Oh, she did... had a lot of Worth gowns. And then at their wedding, they got presents from Tiffany. They got special presents. They got a little pool table from Brunswick. They All the big names, advertisers, made special gifts for them. And lots of jewels from the Astors and the Vanderbilts. And... And then here's a photograph of, it looks like it's a comparison to of perhaps her fan and, and a standard size fan, wouldn't yes, you think? Uh -huh. yeah. That's something to look forward to get. Yeah. And then is this is Mr. Thumb. Mr. Thumb. She lived on to 1919. So, so she, you know, yeah. she lived on many, many years. And here she time. is again with... With her new husband and his brother. And they were all little. Don't worry about it. Next. This is a wonderful uh, little bit of things to have. It is. I'm sorry for the reflection, but there's nothing we can do about that. On the left side there, uh, there's a Harper's Weekly of the wedding, and they were front page news. And I think that this is, wouldn't you agree, Paula, that this is probably the, one of the most famous covers that or, that they were that on? That they had. And then think of it, it was during the Civil War. It was February uh, 1862, and it was, uh, you know, it was nice it was to have advanced. something to think about other than... A fairy wedding. The, right, instead of all the horrible things that were going on at the time. And then here's a wonderful illustration. And it is an illustration of the wedding. But I think this is much later, because you can see the, the girls are in drop, wasted. This is probably from the 1880s. So it was still, um, it was still an event, wasn't it? Yes, but this is when he met the queen. Okay, darling. And I'm assuming it's Victoria, but there were many queens. They all wanted to kiss him. That was, <laughs> that was one of his trademarks, is the kissing, little kissing man. Oh. And they all, you know, would die over that. But then you have something down here stuck in Below, <laughs> this is pretty special. So tell us what That's this is. That's their house. Let me get the postcard out so you can maybe see it a little better. Okay. Um, it's their home in Middleboro, uh, Connecticut. They built a little mansard roof home, and it's still there. All the windowsills are low. All the stair steps, treads are low. Little little stove, little cast iron stove. I don't remember that the uh, this building Carriage was house. still there, but the house is still there, and it's not. It's a private home. It's not open to the public uh, that I know of. So, did they leave a lot of the original features in the house? Do you know? They did because I talked to the woman that owned it. She was a young woman. She's very short. She's oh, not well. a dwarf. But, but good... she's perfectly proportioned, very short. So is the idea. Nice home girl, for her. yeah. And so that's a photograph, and this is a postcard of it. And then here looks like something very early. Of it is. It's not in the greatest shape in the world, but it is him uh, in Scotland. court dress meeting uh, different emperors and empresses and. But that could be. It's just Fox. That could be. Yeah, it could go be. to a conservatory. Yeah, and right. Be taken care of. And, and then, then here's much later in there. It's a souvenir of when she married uh, the Count. So it's after Tom. 1893. Yeah. Well, you know, he died in 1883, so it's 10 years after. 
And then you have a lot of these um, playbills. Playbills. Yeah. So th this one is in the grand um, matinee. So do we have a, a concept of how much um, traveling they did? They did. A, oh, they had a world tour. They, okay. they went from coast to coast here, and then they went to Australia. They went all over the world, all over okay. Europe. And here's a program for the wedding. Isn't yes, this? this is later for some one of the little presentations for the wedding of Tom Thumb. Okay. So. And this is a scream up here. That's a scream, and that is probably the only picture like that. And that's the Count driving his missus. And, and that had to be a specially made car for them. It to, probably I mean, how could, was. How yeah. could he get the pedals to work? Yeah, I don't know. Well, Tom had a yacht. He had a little yacht. Oh, wow. And it sunk. But he was known to go up and down the Connecticut River in his yacht. This is uh, the Albion newspaper. Uh, it's, you know, more about the wedding. So it pretty events. much it pretty much became a global event. Oh yeah. And then of course here's the. Uh... That's the American Museum uh, when it burned down. Uh, that's where Barnum had his menageries, and the thumbs were part of the menagerie. So. You know you have some wonderful um, artifacts, and I'm sure at some point. This will become a, uh, should become a book of all of these. It will, when I have a moment. When you have a moment to, to get all your yeah. research in one place. Well, thank you very much for sharing the wonderful world of Mr. and Mrs. Tom Thumb. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.